our class really has bad luck. This year, we got Miss Frizzle, the strangest teacher in school. We don't mind Miss Frizzle's strange dresses or her strange shoes. It's the way she acts that really gets us. Mrs. Frizzle makes us grow green mold on old pieces of bread. She makes us build clay models of garbage dumps, draw diagrams of plants and animals, and read five science books a week. How Mold Grows by Amanda and Arnold. Listen, Arnold, it's learning to talk. <laughs> Does that mean we'll all get an A? Down, Liz. Parts of a Plant by Gregory. The sun, leaf, leaves make energy from sunlight. Hand, roots get food and drink from soil. Remember, trip to the waterworks tomorrow. Our classes go on trips to the zoo or even the circus. Guess where we went on our class trip? To the waterworks. Boring. Typical. And to get ready for the trip, Mrs. Frizzle made us spend a whole month in the library. We had to find out exactly how our city gets its water, down to the last drop. We also had to collect ten interesting facts about water. I don't think there are ten interesting facts about water. Maybe four and a half. Water fact number one by Wanda. About two-thirds of your body is made up of water. Water fact number two by Tim. Water is the only substance that is found in the form of a liquid, a solid, and a gas in nature. Liquid water, solid ice, gas, water vapor. Oh no, not the octopus dress! Let's pretend we don't know her. In the parking lot, the old school bus was waiting. To our surprise, there was no bus driver. Instead, the frizz herself was behind the wheel. At the end of the block, the bus went into a dark tunnel. When we came out, something amazing had happened. The bus looked a lot different. We looked different, too. Everyone was wearing a scuba diving outfit, even Mrs. Frizzle. Water fact number three by Shirley. There is water in the air you are breathing. You can't see it because it is in the form of an invisible gas called water vapor. When water evaporates, it changes from a liquid to a gas and rises into the air. I didn't know that. We're going up! Miss Frizzle was the only one who didn't seem to notice the change. She just drove on. In the middle of a bridge, the bus started to rise into... I want my mommy! In the air, it went right up into a cloud! As you know, class, water is always evaporating from lakes, rivers, streams, and oceans. Arnold, are you paying attention? I knew I should have stayed home today. I want my mommy! You said that already. Then Mrs. Frizzle did the weirdest thing ever. She told everybody to get out of the bus. The kids didn't want to go, but Frizzle threatened to give extra homework if we didn't. I'll take the homework. Some kids stuck their heads out of the cloud and looked down. There were mountains down there, and the cloud was going higher every minute. Help! We're shrinking! I was already small for my age. It was getting colder, too. All around us, drops of water began to form. And as the drops got bigger, we got smaller. Water fact number four by Flory. Clouds are water. The higher you go... The higher up you go, the colder air is. When water vapor rises, the cold air makes the vapor form droplets, which hang in the air as a mist. This is a cloud. Before long, each kid was the size of a raindrop. In fact, each kid was in a raindrop. The drops began to fall. Mrs. Frizzle's class was raining. Start to run those children in. It's a good thing I brought my umbrella. Ah, a relaxing day on the water. Watch out for rocks, children. We fell into a clear mountain stream and began flowing down the mountainside. Water fact number five by Phil. Did you know that all the water on earth is used over and over? Here's how it happens. Water evaporates from lakes, rivers, and oceans and forms clouds in the sky. Then it returns to earth again as rain or snow. This process is called the water cycle. 
In no time, we reached the reservoir that holds water for our city. We were going into the water purification system. This class trip was not so boring after all. This is great! What's that? Evergreen trees keep dust and leaves from blowing into the reservoir. Fence keeps people and animals from dirtying the reservoir. Inspector makes sure no sewage seeps in by, from nearby houses. Inspector makes sure no toxic wastes are dumped nearby. We have reached the reservoir, children. Follow me to the water purification system. Are you listening, Arnold? Not really. Some water words by Dorothy Ann. A reservoir is a place where water is stored. When you purify water, you clean it. The water in the reservoir was pretty dirty. We were covered with dirt and mud. Follow me to the mixing basin, shouted Miss Frizzle. In the mixing basin, a clumping substance called alum was added to the water. The alum formed globs, and all of the dirt and mud stuck to the globs. Mixing basin, settling basin. On to the settling basin, ordered the frizz. There the globs sank to the bottom, and the clean water flowed to the top. Now we were on our way to the filter. It's all clear now. Everyone swim up. Dirt. Water fact number six by Ralph. Less than 1% of all the water on earth is fresh water that we can drink. The rest is salty water in the oceans or frozen water in glaciers or ice caps. We can't get through. We'll be stuck in the waterworks forever. Ouch. This was the sand and gravel filter that takes out any impurities still in the water. There were impurities, so we couldn't get through. Luckily, Miss Frizzle showed us a special way around the filter. When the water came out of the filter, it was sparkling clear. Gravel, sand. Class, these layers of sand and gravel strain out the tiniest bits of dirt left in the water, even the most of, of the disease germs. I would hate to find you in a glass of water. Ditto to you. Still another water word. By Dorothy Ann. Impurities are dirt, dust, and disease germs. Anything that should not be in a glass of water. Water fact number seven by Molly. Clear water is not always clean water. It still may contain disease germs that can make you sick. Fluoride, chlorine. In the pipe from the filter to a storage tank, a chemical called chlorine was added to the water. Chlorine kills any remaining disease germs. A trace of fluoride was also added to keep kids from getting so many cavities. The water had come all the way through the purification system. We thought our class trip was over, but Frizzle had other ideas. Everybody into the storage tank, she shouted. Where's the bus? Follow me, class. Before we knew what was happening, we were whooshed out of the tank into a pipe that carries water to our city. Water fact number eight by Amanda Jane. The first pipes in North America were made out of hollowed out logs. Today's pipes are made out of concrete, metal, even plastic. Then we went into the water mains, the pipes that run under the city streets. The force of water as it moves through the pipes is called water pressure. Go with the flow, kids! A smaller pipe carried us into a building. We went up into the pipes in the walls. Water fact number nine by Arnold. Water pressure is usually so strong you can't keep water from coming out of an open faucet with your finger, no matter how hard you press. Yeek! When a 7th grader turned on a faucet in the girls' bathroom, the building was our school. We were back. We were our regular size again. We were dressed in normal clothes again. Except for Miss Frizzle, of course. Save water! Turn on faucet, turn off faucets when not using. Two, put a water saving device on a shower head. Three, limit water flush by putting a full bottle of water in the toilet tank. Four, fix leaks right away. Line up, class. Water fact number 10 by John. For every gallon used, the average city loses more than two cups of water through leaks. Back in the classroom, Mrs. Frizzle act, acted as if nothing strange had happened. She started feeding the class lizard, and she put us to work right away. We had to make a chart showing how water gets into the homes and buildings in our city. Down, girl. When Arnold drew a picture of a kid inside a raindrop, Mrs. Frizzle said, Where do you get these crazy ideas, Arnold? Number one, water evaporates from lakes, rivers, and oceans. 
Two, clouds of water vapor form in sky. Three, rain falls to earth. Some falls into streams. Four, some streams run into the city's reservoir. Five, in the mixing basin, dirt and mud stick to alum clumps. Six, in settling basin, clumps of alum and dirt sink to the bottom. Seven, sand and gravel filter takes out last impurities. Eight, in pipe to storage tank, fluoride is added for strong teeth. Chloride is added to kill every last disease germ. Nine, pure water is held in a storage tank. Ten, water mains carry water under the city streets. Eleven, to our homes and buildings. Here's how our water chart turned out. Later that day, we saw the old bus in the school parking lot. How did that get there? Did we only imagine going through the water supply system? Would we ever find out what really happened? Last time I saw that bus, I, it was in a cloud, I think. Mrs. Frizzle said we'll be studying volcanoes next. This makes us all feel a little nervous. After all, with a teacher like Mrs. Frizzle, anything can happen. There aren't any volcanoes around here, are there?